Hi everybody, day 26, Thursday, 2nd of June 2020, uh, continuing to think about the fourth of the uh, foundational truths regarding becoming a born again believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, with another one to add on at the end. Uh, and uh, this is the second in the series of, of the fourth one, which is regarding the Holy Spirit and his role in, in these things. Um, and what I want to just underline again at the beginning is this: that this the, the, the Holy Spirit is something that confuses so many people. Something that goes on internally in your, in your heart, um, and 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 this person's got that experience. This person's got that experience. This person says this. This person. So it's really important that you find it out for yourself in your Bible. It's written in English, you know. <laughs> and I'm presuming most of you are, are English that are listening to this. So don't 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 skimp. On, on the Bible studies that you need to do to get your head around uh, these things. Um, the, the big problem that I see is that many people have preached, which is how it was when I was growing up, that the baptism of the Holy Spirit is the second blessing. So you believe in Jesus and get born again, and then you have to get this second blessing of being baptised in the Spirit. And I hope now to explain that that's not the case. It, the, the Scriptures don't teach that. So I'll just launch into it, okay? Um, and the reason they don't teach that is because uh, the, 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 um, the, the misunderstanding comes about by not appreciating that this, this baptism of the Spirit has been given at a certain time in history. It, it, the, the baptism of the Spirit was not given before. The, indwell, the, the Spirit being given to indwell someone uh, and to bring, you know, to bring God into someone's life and to take someone's life into God was not given before the death and burial, resurrection and ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it came 10 days after, after Jesus went back to heaven, 10 days later, he sent the Holy Spirit in this new kind of way. So previously we worked under the law um, and, and the Holy Spirit was around and doing things, um, but, but now the Holy Spirit is within us. We still have our Bibles, but it's not legal and it's not a legalistic thing anymore. It's very much a heart and a loving relation, personal relationship thing now. Um, not that it wasn't before either. But um, and the and the other the, the other problem is they say it was power thing. Well, it 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 it, it is powerful, of course, uh, but it's not the powerful thing. Being filled with the Spirit is the powerful thing. Um, so that uh, Moses did, did very powerful stuff and he wasn't baptised in the Spirit. You know, Elijah did powerful stuff and he wasn't baptised in the Spirit. Jesus' 12 disciples did powerful stuff, but they weren't baptised in the Spirit at the time that they were doing th th these, those things. So, and we want to say that this Holy Spirit is to do with our position in Christ and then our ongoing position in relationship to each other. We're baptised into, into the church, baptised into the body of Christ. Is what's been said. So the situation was when the Holy Spirit was first given, that a hundred, you know, a hundred and twenty people who believed in Jesus uh, were were gathered together, and the Holy Spirit came upon them in power, uh, and that's that's right, and they were believers in Jesus, <laughs> but right at this transitional time, you see. Um, but then, uh, what the what the Bible says at the beginning of Acts is is that. The Holy Spirit will, you know, will come upon you. And now the time of Abraham is here. If you want, it's going to go to the whole world, you know, uh, now, from now on. And so it's going to go to Jerusalem. It's going to go to Samaria. And it's going to go to the, to the Gentiles, to the, end of the, to the end of the world, to everybody in the world. And so here we are on the day of Pentecost, and it's Jerusalem. And, and the Holy Spirit comes on these 120, and they go out and preach. And 3,000 are converted that day. And then very, very quickly, another 5,000 are added in, or 2,000 are added in. So it's very, very good to get up to 5,000 very, very quickly. And then some of them kind of go out a little bit. A guy called Philip goes to a place called Samaria, and they start getting it. Well, they're not really very good Jews. You know, they're actually hated people, you know. So when they get the, the, the news of the gospel, of believing in Jesus, God hold this is what i'm saying in this transitional period the lord holds the holy spirit back from them until peter and john can come from jerusalem and lay hands on them then the holy spirit is released and in that then it's clear to the peter and john who are leaders in the church in jerusalem that it's for everybody 
And then later on, when a, um, a, a, a Roman soldier uh, who, who believes in the Jewish ways of things gets a vision to send for Peter to come. So Peter comes and preaches the gospel and he then gets to, be, to believe uh, and to be baptised in the same way that, that, that they had been. Uh, the confusing thing for some people is um, so that God is being careful to nurture his church into unity with itself as the as the hated Samaritans and as the hated Gentiles uh, are being allowed into the church now because it's for the whole world. Um, the, the confusing thing is, uh, I think it's Ephes in Acts chapter 19, where you talk about Ephesians, you see. So this is quite some time later on. So this is where people get their idea from, it's a second blessing. Because it's said of some people there that they believed in Jesus, but they'd only had John's baptism. So they needed to be baptised. So when Paul got there, he heard that, he laid his hands on them and the Holy Spirit fell on them as well. But um, but it, it, it had been that they had believed in Jesus. It, and so the teaching hadn't been completed for them, as it hadn't been completed for me, you see. So I needed, if you want, a second blessing, but it, but, but it, but it, you know, that's not the that's not the the best we're wanting to do with the best i am wanting to do the best for you so i'm looking for this blessing to be understood and, and appreciated and, and engaged with by yourself as you as you walk and as god reveals these things to you uh, I'll, I'll leave it there at this time um, and, uh, and i'll share a couple of stories of, from myself tomorrow okay see you now bye